Quite emotional for us. We've been we've been doing this now for about 18 months. So to get it from point A to B when they go onto the streets in June is obviously quite a big operation. I think before with Gorillas and Dragons we've learned because people actually didn't know it was a great charity that had the pond that's amazing event. They just thought it's, it was great. Norwich City got these fantastic trails, really good fun to do and a wonderful day out for the kids. Um, but actually I think this, particularly with the community project, is so much more about promoting what the organisation does. Yeah, educating young people in schools that actually not everyone's so fortunate as they are. So June the 24th, um, all the, all the big hairs will be going out onto the street so we've got two trails this year and that's one of the exciting bits we didn't want to change it too much but we wanted to give give, give a little bit of a change but also the public the opportunity to stretch outside of Norwich so 50 hairs inside of Norwich um, 18 hairs inside the county uh, making a total of 68 and Break as a charity started in 1968 so this was a nice opportunity to bring those two together and that's what we were able to do for this trail in our, our 50th year 163 leverets, they'll be located in shops and businesses around Norwich um, and obviously just getting them to and from and getting them out onto the streets is, uh, is obviously key for us. June the 24th is that day where the, where the big hairs go out and a week later we'll take the leverets and put them into the shops, it gives us a bit of breathing space. They come back in on the 8th of September, um, we then have Hair Today Gone Tomorrow which is our last chance to see all of the hairs in situ together. Um, that will be outside the Forum and that will be from the 7th to the, uh, to the 10th of October. And then obviously the big day is the 11th of October where the hares go to auction.